The Chicago Park District invites everyone to join us as our team shares their knowledge about a range of interesting topics. Our staff is dedicated to staying connected to our communities. Greetings from my studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make a small gratitude journal using a thank you card. In times like these, it's really nice to take a moment and reflect on the things that you are thankful for. This is just good practice in general, and it also helps relieve the stress of the things that you may be going through. So let's get started. To start, you'll need a thank you card. These come tend to a pack at your local Dollar Tree. You want some paper that's cut to the size of the card when it's unfolded. Here I've cut mine just a little bit smaller so that it fits into the book nicely. I've also added some pretty decorative paper. I think that'll make a nice leaf in the book. You'll need scissors, a ruler is handy, and here I have what I call the poor man's bone folder. This is a chopstick that we'll be using to fold our paper to get a nice even crease. And then from there, you need a stapler and you're ready to begin. To begin, fold your paper in half so that it can fit inside of the card. I'll start with these white sheets first. Now use your chopstick to crease those edges nice and tight so you have a really beautifully tight fold. If need be, pull your inside sheets out. I'm using about five sheets here. That's pretty comfortable for a booklet. You can use more or less depending on your taste. And those look nice and tight. I'm also going to fold my special paper here. You can find specialty paper at art supply stores. You can also use pages from magazines, the funny papers, even brown paper bags look really very nice with this treatment. You're just cutting them to... I've now assembled my pages into a little booklet. This is normally called a signature. Sometimes you'll see in full books that they may be made up of several signatures stitched together. Now I'm going to take this signature and place it right inside of my card. I'm going to then open it and find the center page. And that's where we're going to do our attachments. Now normally in bookmaking this would be sewn or stitched together, but we're going to improvise and work with what we have, which is a stapler, which everyone has around the house. So staple it right on the spine one here and one there. A little extra fold, a little extra love from your chopstick and now you have a really beautiful gratitude journal ready for you to write, to draw, to sketch and focus on the things that are really good in your life right now. These days it's more important than ever to come together as a community, whether it's from our living rooms, kitchens, or backyards. Discover activities for all ages, as well as fun, interactive videos and important park information by following us across social media platforms and visiting us at chicagoparkdistrict.com. 